Okay, here's a quick interview by the guy that, the uh, builder, I guess, so it's pretty interesting. That it was a motor problem that started the skid. Obviously, the car was crossed up in its own oil, either a broken connected rod and a hole in the block or a broken oil line, actually. But some of the way, a situation in which the car builder was one of the first to the scene. And this is only a seven day old piece. Chick Nineno, you built this thing, and every single person has come up to you and said, Congratulations, it did exactly what it's supposed to. Yeah, we just hate to sit there and test them this way, though, you know. <laughs> it's a bad way of doing it. There's so much technology that goes into the cage structure and you're trying to fit it into a specific wheelbase and everything else. Was this car a problem when you were building it to make it the way you wanted it? No, as long as you follow the uh, rules and, you know, what we found is if the cage stays intact, the driver's seat stays intact, and the belts hold, he very seldom ever gets hurt. And that's exactly what happened here. It held perfectly. It's, I'm glad, sure glad it did, because I've been through a couple of these with him, and uh, this is almost the worst one. There's no question, though, when you come right down to it, that the chassis builder's best advertisement is the structural stability of a car in a situation like this. And right now, Chick Canetto's best advertisement is Ronnie Sox walking out of this thing. But he didn't walk out. I mean, I think he was okay, but I don't know what Big Boy was looking at, but he got carried out on a stretcher. I mean, I think he was coming too, but hopefully he was all right. So anyway, what a day at the office.